Hello everyone, welcome back to Tux Riders. In this video we want to install one of the software programs that we will use a lot in uh, Tux Riders project, a free and open source finite element solver called FreeFem. Let's go to see how we can do that. Okay, so FreeFem. As I said, we will have dedicated tutorials on this and also lots of computational modeling that we will do in TaxRiders project will be based on this uh, open source PD solver. The installation process is straightforward for, for example, for Windows operating system. You can easily go through the installation process, but uh, for Linux, especially if you want to use that in HPC high performance computing environments like supercomputers or clusters, you should go through the compilation process. And by all the knowledge that we have obtained till now through other um, videos, previous videos in this uh, Prepare Your Scientific Computing Environment series, we can easily compile it. Uh, the source code is hosted in GitHub, uh, but before going for the source code, I want to go for the installation guide. The installation guide yeah, has uh, different versions for different platforms, and also even for Ubuntu, you can take advantage of uh, these uh, like installation packages. We have we, now we know what that is. Uh, but I don't want to go for this. I want to go for the most flexible version of installing things. When you know how to compile programs, how to build programs, you should always go for that. You should always rely on this technique because it gives you the most flexibility possible to customize the installation or uh, the kind of software that you want. So I go for compiling source code and I'm compiling on Ubuntu. If you follow this, let's say, documentation instruction, it can be easily installed. There are some cases, you know, there are some problems, especially if you're installing that on a cluster. You may face, you know, sort of dependency, but more or less, this is exactly like this. So it starts with uh, installing a couple of packages on a system. I think we already have all of this, but uh, or most of this. But uh, let's go and uh, first see if there is uh, something missing here. Apparently it is, uh, but uh, yeah, let's install it with APD package manager. So these are just for the dependencies. And then it says uh, we also need a MPI CH, sort of MPI message passing interface implementation. I think we have already open, L, uh, open MPI here, but uh, let's install MPI CH. This is a more robust uh, version of MPI in comparison to open MPI, but open MPI is also okay. For compilation, because this is recommended by FreeFM developers, we use MPI CH. And then the next step is uh, uh, cloning the repository, FreeFem repository from the GitHub. So before going for that, I create a new directory. Uh, let's call it FreeFem, or let's write it in the correct form, FreeFem. And then I go inside that, and here I clone the repository. So starts to download its codes from uh, this github repository let me show you the repository yeah this is a repository it's uh, your they're all great and active developers on this project and this is in a sort of program that is repeatedly updated and they frequently provide us uh, with uh, new versions but the instruction for installation is always like this. So it says after having these uh, things installed, we have to go through the source code and extract. 
So now we are here. Uh, we should try to go for auto reconf with switch i, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, with switch i. So it starts to automatically creates the sort of configuration scripts for us and not the make files. These are configuration scripts because the freeframe installation has a mixture of the CMake procedure, CMake process, uh, CMake compilation process, as well as the raw GNU make files. So yeah, that's it. And then it says if, well, what problem if this is in a, for example, old machine, a machine with old Linux kernel or Linux utilities, you can run this command to have some sort of previously built configuration files. And then we have to configure or build. So I go for the configure script and you, you know how it works. And it says you should say enable download and enable optim. These are the things that are, uh, you know, uh, suggested by freeframe developers. That there are switches that you can use. And it also says that if you want to have more switches, like you want to configure different part of the program, flexibility, I told you, you can use this help switch, uh, so help argument to see all the uh, available options. And then the most important one prefix, I told you about this, that I want to specify when I want to install this. So I want to go for freefam and I usually will have, uh, I showed you in previous videos, uh, like freefam in install. Yeah, that's it. Let's configure the build, see if there is something missing here. It goes quite fast. Okay, nothing. Everything is included, but now FreeFM has a bundle, or let's say can can be accompanied by, and has Petsy as a plugin. So uh, we we have to go to the installation of Petsy, but FreeFM has a simplified installation process, installation script for installing Petsy and all the necessary high performance computing uh, libraries and uh, tools. So f in order to do that, because you know, Free FreeFM comes with lots of plugins. So a wide variety of different uh, tools for scientific computing can, can, can run under the umbrella of FreeFM because uh, yeah, it has combined and it has compiled all those uh, programs and libraries in a way, in a sort of interface that, that are accessible inside FreeFM. And in order to install them, we have to go through the simplified process. It is get all with switch A, you see here. So downloading all those uh, third party libraries it includes you can see here boot super lu mmg par mmg hipre and as i said uh uh petsy moms for uh multi front solvers and metis and uh, these kind of libraries there are lots of libraries and after that we have to go to the third party folder ff petsy which is indeed the version of petsy that comes with freefam and it has all sort of pre-configured switches and those kind of stuff and third party ff petsy here and then i have to run make petsy slapsy and because i have already specified the prefix then it means that i don't need to run it with sudo because it goes to be installed inside the home folder of the current user so I type this and it takes quite long because there are lots of libraries to be installed. You can see that these are the configure switches of FreeFM developers as specified for us to download PT, Scotch, Metis. Scotch is a sort of domain, pre domain decomposition, uh, de domain decompositioner. And then Metis, again, a grapher and bunch of different high performance solvers, Hipre, Parmetis, MMG, we, we compile already MMG, so now you'd know. Escala Pack, Super LU for, uh, again, uh, solving linear system and uh, sweet sparse. So I wait for this to finish and then, uh, yeah, we, we continue. 
so it is still compiling you see that still tries to compile first petsy and then slepsy for eigenvalue problems and now for various kind of numerical uh, let's say variations for complex numbers uh, you know another another way of installing petsy with freefm is obtaining petsy from its official website compiling it yourself with all the configurations that you want okay so it's over yeah without any error uh, yeah i was saying uh, with a configuration that you want and then uh, in the end uh, link that with with freefm that's also possible but here yeah i went through the simplified uh, uh simplified uh uh, sorry, simplified version uh, with this installation script provided by Freefm developers. So now I have to go back to the uh, to the root directory to you. You see that now I'm in the Freefm sources directory, and now I should reconfigure it to be linked with this uh, newly Petsy. Uh, uh, installation or let's say compiled version of Petsy. Now you see that all these things are yes, 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 everything has been found from the Petsy installation. And here is indeed the place that if you want to have your own Petsy version, imagine that you want to compile it with GPU support. You compile it yourself, and then in this configure script, you provided it, provided it with uh, with the, with your installation. Okay, after configure. Now we are ready to compile FreeFM. We have to run Make, and Make has a switch. I think I, I haven't used that uh, in previous videos. J means that okay, we want to parallelize this uh, using, for example, n number of cores. And in this case, GNU Make would take advantage of multiple or let's say parallel compilation commands. So it runs multiple compilation commands at once. So I compile it using, let's say, four processors to make it a bit faster. And then, uh, yeah, it starts to, to work. And then it also qu it take quite long. Uh, but yeah, we have to wait. And after it get compiled, all will come back. OK. Good, so this one is also finished and uh, without any error, as you can see. If there were any error, you make says that yeah, that make the build process exited with error, with errors, please refer to this log file for further information. Uh, okay, so now the next step is uh, make check. We can go for that. Uh, let's just see if it if our installation works, uh, let's say compiled, compiled binaries uh, work correctly. So MakeCheck tries to run uh, the, the examples, some of the examples that are marked as a test cases uh, to, to make sure that uh, the compiled uh, version works correctly. As you can see, uh, the pass means yeah it's okay so it runs with with different uh, freefm cases uh, examples with a default configuration and apparently it's okay it it goes uh, for a while and goes through uh, the different examples I don't want to go for that so I, I press Control C for the software killing signal and then the interesting part which is indeed make install and make install copies all the uh, let's say uh, binaries to to the folder uh, to the directory of desire to the directory that I specified so I have freefem and freefem install so you can see Petsy is here library and in this case mostly plugins and then the bin folder and here I have freefem plus plus the main executable for the sequential version and f freefem plus plus uh, MPI for the parallel version
as well as different you know scripts like F ffc plus plus i will show you how to use this for compiling for linking c plus plus codes with freefm or freefm ffmpi run which is a simple script to run parallel versions parallel scripts so if we want to see if it works and uh, i have to go to freefm install and the bin directory of course and here i have freefem plus plus and when i run it you see that yeah it's it's okay version 4 4.9 and now you know that in order to uh take advantage of uh, yeah if, if, if i don't want to repeat myself I'm, every time i uh, point to this directory i have to add this directory to my uh let's say uh, path a variable in order to do that I run nano on bash rc and in the end here I say export uh, path equals previous path as well as this uh, new directory which is indeed uh, the bean folder of a uh, freefem then I save it bash rc and uh, if i start a new terminal then i have freefem here uh, not apparently let me re-edit bash rc so here is bash rc so here is a is, this is you know the export path Oops. so sorry i, I put the sign inversely in the opposite way it says a path should be the previous path and the new address so i save it again add new terminal and now i should have freefm plus plus yeah so sorry for the mistake okay cool so yeah i added the freefm uh installation path to the path environment variable and now i can use i can run freefm or freefm mpi uh, whenever i want so this is the last step of completing the installation and um, yeah there is nothing more to add you will see uh, much more content about this freefm i don't want to go to to any of the details right now so yeah i want to finish the video i hope you enjoy that try to install it this is indeed as you saw a pretty straightforward installation process especially for petsy which is a bit quite uh i can say difficult sometimes to install but with this simplified installation script you can easily compile and link it with freefam okay so yeah nothing more to add see you later in next videos Bye.